So now cherry picking is okay. Verhofstadt demands EU pick and chooses Brexit perks. Guy Verhofstadt has pleaded with the EU to grant British students continued access to the Erasmus programme, an example of cherry picking so often condemned by Brussels chiefs. The MEP addressed the European Parliament today where he urged the EU to allow UK students to continue using the Student Exchange programme, which was established by the Bloc in 1987. Addressing MEPs today, Mr Verhofstadt said, and then, last remark that I want to make is a request to Michel Barnier and to the negotiation team that is to do something on Erasmus. I know the cherry-picking attitude from the Brits, which is in fact devastating for Erasmus. But let's take a unilateral measure towards the students in Britain that they can continue, unilaterally, to make use of Erasmus. It's a pro-European generation, this young generation, and it's this generation who will bring back the UK inside the European family in the next decades. However, Mr Verhofstadt's claims for the EU to cherry-pick a deal comes after the bloc rejected any pick and choosing from the UK, arguing it was not an option. In 2016, the EU's chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier said cherry-picking was not an option. He said, being a member of the EU comes with rights and benefits. Third countries can never have the same rights and benefits, since they are not subject to the same obligations. The single market and its four freedoms are invisible, cherry-picking is not an option. In June this year, MEPs accused the UK of cherry-picking a deal and argued the UK demanding access to the single market after Brexit was unacceptable. MEP Bernd Lang said, now is the time of truth and the European Parliament stands united with the European Commission and the Council in rejecting the piecemeal approach by the UK government to these negotiations leading to separate agreements. In this respect, it is no surprise that the EP will reject a trade agreement that does not include robust guarantees for fair competition and fair trade. Katie Piri, Hungarian MEP, added, the UK's expectation to keep the benefits of a member state without agreeing to any obligations, including a clear level playing field and governance provisions, is simply not realistic. The UK made a conscious decision to leave the single market. We respect this, so should the United Kingdom. The UK formally left the EU back in January and negotiations have been ongoing since with neither side able to come to an agreement on the likes of fishing, governance and the so-called level playing field.